This is the first lecture of four on the selection of dairy bulls in South Africa. This lecture gives some background information of genetic evaluations done in South Africa for the dairy populations and the current status thereof. From a survey done by the MPO in October 2016, cow density are indicated in this map and it can be seen that most of our cows, the highest cow density, are around the coastal areas where it's more um, cli uh, temperate climates with no cows in the very high dry hot areas of our country. Around 29% of production of our milk production are from the Western Cape, 30% from the Eastern Cape and 25% from KwaZulu-Natal. In South Africa, the national genetic evaluations for dairy breeds are done by SA Stadtbook for three populations, the Holsteins, Jerseys and the Ayrshire's. In the Holstein genetic evaluation, around 10 million test day records are currently included. This is information of around 1.2 million cows with a current active population of 32,000 cows and heifers participating in SA Stadtbook's smoke recording system. For jerseys, we have around 4 million test day records in the genetic evaluation, which is information on 324,000 cows with a current active population of around 55,000 cows and heifers. So as you can see, although the Holstein population is historically the biggest, numerically biggest population in South Africa, we now have more active jerseys um, compared to the Holsteins. The third population for which genetic evaluations are done is the Ayrshire's, which, which is our smallest population with around 400,000 test day records in the genetic evaluation, which is information on 73,000 cows and the current active population of 3,500 cows and heifers. The following graphs indicates the number and percentage cows born from South African and foreign sires per year of birth. This is for the Holstein population, so we can see on the y-axis we have the number of cows and on the x-axis we have the year of birth. The yellow bars indicate the number of cows born from South African sires. The green bars indicates the number of cows born from foreign sires with a blue line indicating the percentage of cows born from foreign sires. So for the Holstein population, we can see in the late 80s a sharp decline in the number of cows born from South African sires and a sharp increase in the percentage of cows born from foreign sires. Around 2000, there's a, um, around an equal number of cows born from South African and uh, foreign sires with about 91% of cows born in 2019 originating from foreign sires. Looking at the current active Holstein population in South Africa, around 50% of cows now originating from USA sires, 30% from, from South African sires, with Canada, Canadian sires and sires from the Netherlands also having significant large representation in the South African population. Looking at our Jersey population, we can see with the orange bars being the cows born from South African sires and the blue bars being the cows born from foreign sires and the green line indicating the percentage of cows born from foreign sires. We can see a very strong increase since 2003 uh, for cows being born from foreign sires. In 2008, there were about the same number of cows born from foreign and uh, national sires. Um, and we see a sharp decline in the number of local bulls being used since then, with around 83% of cows born in 2019 originating from foreign semen. Looking at the active population, the current active population of the Jerseys now in South Africa, 
we see that, that around 46% of the cows born uh, are from the from USA sires, 34% from national sires, South African sires, with the Danish um, sires also having a very significant percentage of our active population. Looking at our Ayrshire population, the green bars indicates the number of cows born from South African sires, the blue bars the cows born from foreign sires, and the red line, the percentage of cows born from foreign semen. We can see already in 1979, there were more cows born from foreign sires compared to South African sires, with about 79% of the cows born in 2018 being daughters of foreign sires. Looking at the current active population of the Ayrshire, we can see that there is around um, equally a percentage of cows born from South African and Canadian sires, with especially the USA also being represented significantly, 11% and around 4% um, cows born from sires of the UK. Looking at the history of artificial insemination, Russia was the first country where the successful insemination of cattle on a large scale began. The Russian researcher Ivanov can be seen as a pioneer of artificial insemination. In 1899, he researched artificial insemination of birds, horses, cattle and sheep. Denmark was, however, the first country to establish an AI cooperative in 1936. In 1938, AI was established in the USA, with 49% cattle born in 1970 being from AI. History of AI in South Africa. In South Africa, AI was established in the late 1940s, early 1950s, with the establishment of four AI companies. In 1972, the Transvaal and Boerland cooperatives merged, and in 1978, the others joined them to establish Taurus, South Africa's largest bull testing AI center. In 2008, Exceed SA was established, which were bought in 2011 by CRV from the Netherlands, and they mainly sell semen from the Netherlands, Australia, and New Zealand Holstein bulls with limited marketing of South African bulls, primarily for the Jersey breed. In 2013, sadly, Evolution, an AI company in France, bought a 51% share in Taurus and is now called Taurus Evolution, and that they now market mainly France, uh, semen from France for the Holstein breed with limited marketing of SA bulls. There are, however, uh, quite a lot of overseas AI companies doing business in South Africa. The following companies are selling semen in South Africa. Worldwide Sires, ABS, Alta Genetics, GenX, and GE Dairy Supplies, they all sell semen from the USA. However, they do not market the same boots. Then we have Semex, that's selling Canadian semen. Genemex, which is a South African company selling semen from Denmark and New Zealand. Viking Genetics selling semen from the Nordic countries, Swedish Genetics from Sweden. Then we have CRV Exceed selling semen from the Netherlands, Australia, New Zealand, and also South Africa. Limited, Taurus Evolution selling semen from France bulls for the Holstein population and South African bulls for the Jerseys. <laughs> semen Zoo selling semen from Italy and then Senmark selling semen from Australia.